Hello, I'm Zeynep and I'm currently an undergraduate student in Sabancı University, Turkey. I'm doing double major in molecular biology and computer science with a minor in chemistry. And in the Young Scientist program, I'm working under the mentorship of Professor Jim Cleaves. I'm working on the project identifying organocatalysts using graph theory based reaction modeling. So why and how do we identify these organocatalysts? Well, think that we have a group of molecules which naturally reacts with each other and let's call them our first generation of molecules. When we put them into the same environment, they will react and their products will make up our second generation of molecules. Then they all will react again and the third generation will be produced. So by using computational methods, we are able to model chemical reaction network, which we can observe the relations between generations of these molecules. From these networks, plenty of information can be gathered by using various software tools, like the organocatalysts or the autocatalytic cycles, and the relations between the molecules in these reactions. So, how did we utilize our methods? Well, first of all, we had to define our first generation of molecules in a computationally interpretable way, like the smile structured way. And then we had to define our rules, which is basically the reactions that these molecules can go through. Most software uses the first generation of molecules that we gave as an input and the reactions we defined and simulates the products that they can produce. So by using the Neo4g tool, we were able to convert the data files that have been produced through the Python code into a Gephi readable format. I have observed the patterns and the motifs in the enamine molecule's structures and its reactions. And the results of a four-generation graph can be seen in here. However, the overall output data of my project still needs analysis in Gephi format to draw a conclusion and need some more tests. And those will be the next steps of my project.